hello and uh, thanks for uh, tuning in to this um, third online lecture in Theological Approaches to Mission Strategy, uh, a tale of two churches. Uh, in this OL, we'll be considering um, two uh, fictional, made-up, um, hypothetical churches, uh, which have a very diff different um, missional strategy, way of going around about mission, uh, informed by uh, two very different theological approaches. And I want to just, uh, as I um, describe these two churches, for you to think about what kind of theological approaches or what kind of theology of mission might be behind the kind of mission strategy that each church has. So uh, our first church, Hope Street Church, so I'm just going to describe uh, the kind of mission or the kind of church mission uh, that Hope Street Church engages in. So Hope Street is a medium sized church on a housing estate close to a town centre. And the housing estate is um, mixed uh, with some of the uh, estate being deprived. Uh, but there's also uh, a, uh, uh, to one side of it, uh, an area which is quite uh, affluent. Uh, but the church itself is located uh, quite centrally within the housing estate itself. The congregation uh, are regularly encouraged to bring friends to seeker services. These seeker services are aimed at being um, seeker friendly, um, so uh, there's often a um, uh, music and worship which is uh, lively and upbeat and which is accessible to people who aren't Christians. And in the seeker service there is always a gospel message of some sort. Contemporary worship and in every service, there would be some kind of altar call um, after the gospel message where people who aren't Christians are encouraged to come forward if they would like to make a Christian commitment. In reality, um, for these services, uh, they're mostly attended by existing church members uh, and only a few people uh, bring along friends to the services. Another uh, feature of Hope Street Church is that Alpha courses are a big part of their mission. And uh, there is a big focus after Alpha courses on home groups uh, for new believers where they can continue to be discipled. In terms of evangelistic outreach, um, there is regular door knocking in the local area where um, church members go out together in pairs uh, to kn knock on uh, local doors and to uh, tell people uh, about the church and it's um, what it does and about the gospel message. They take out gospel tracts with them uh, and Bibles to give away. And another thing that they would do uh, is um, is street evangelism where they might do uh, some form of um, artistic outreach or evangelism uh, or a simple gospel presentation. There is a homeless drop-in uh, and a messy church uh, and these always include some kind of brief and simple gospel message. So just having thought about Hope Street, I wonder how you describe the mission and evangelism aims of the church. What is it trying to do in terms of mission and evangelism? What is its focus? And therefore, what is the mission strategy of the church? And what kind of theology do you think informs the church's mission strategy? What does it believe about God's purposes in the world? So now to our second church, St. Botolph's Church. 
Uh, St. Botolph's is a small traditional church in a pretty rural farming village. Its services are mainly or entirely aimed at the existing congregation. The church is historically quite central in community life. It continues to be so, uh, but not quite to the same extent. Uh, there's a, a annual and popular church fete attended by many members of the local community. There are other community events and seasonal celebrations. Harvest Festival is an important one for this rural village uh, and Christmas and Easter services are popular and well attended. The vicar is uh, heavily involved in school assemblies, parish visiting and in other community support, especially to the rural farming community. Really important to this uh, church are Christian Aid Week. Uh, there's a group which um, are passionate about the work of Amnesty International. Fair trade is really uh, essential to their agenda. And they have an active um, and quite large environmental committee. The church uh, has recently been awarded a Silver Eco Church Award and is working quite hard towards attaining a Gold Eco Church Award. So, again, the same questions about St. Botolph's Church. How would you describe the mission or evangelism aims of the church? What, therefore, is the mission strategy of the church? And what kind of theology informs the church's mission strategy? What does it believe about God's purposes in the world? I hope you can see by looking at these two very different churches, um, how very different ch um, mission strategies can be. And uh, that there might be some very different theological uh, assumptions uh, diff very different theologies of mission which lie behind the outreach and mission that churches undertake. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this uh, third OL and uh, I hope you enjoy the tasks that you've got set for you.